discussing from Monday mm -hmm. that it may be necessary that if they want to do all those kinds of things, one, there should be a discussion with parents with children. They should properly discuss why the parent is deciding on that. But also, a, a very young child, they cannot make an informed decision in terms of Okay, if you are protecting me from a pregnancy, you might not be at risk of HIV or STIs. They may not make that uh, decision. So it's better to discuss, discussing in terms of what we call uh, education. Um, education, what now it is called comprehensive sexuality education. They first of all understand why the parent is worried about their health, about their future, yes. and what they would choose to be better for them. Yes. Because if parents start deciding uh, on behalf of their children, yes. uh, the end result will be disastrous. Because they will simply say that it was my mother, maybe it was my father who decided this for me, and all the blame will be going to parents for having not advised their children properly. Mm -hmm. But it's better that they engage in a dialogue with children and make them understand that uh, once you do, you do these kinds of things, the result is this. Yes. And, and therefore, you have to make a proper informed decision. You know, we know that you are grown up. Mm -hmm. uh, even 10 nowadays, they are already start engaging in sexual activities. Mm -hmm. It's better that they advise them on better ways of protecting themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, in Malawi here, we have a say that says uh, one clinic Mm -hmm. that provides reproductive health services it says children by choice are not by chance because you can choose to protect yourself using contraceptives yes contraceptives for older people but also those who want to be pregnant but you can also use contraceptives that can also prevent you from getting what from getting STIs or HIV mm -hmm. uh, so it is better that there should be this discussion because this can lead to a lot of complications. Yeah. A lot of complications. Uh, if they prevent them from pregnancy, if they start getting sick, who is going to get, who would be responsible, who would be accounting for those kinds of atrocities?